Anvil City Council expected to approve a requested increase in the city's police force. Yeah, the goal is to help the department better handle turnover. WSLS 10's Coulter Anstat rode along with an officer today to find out what it takes to become an officer. Corporal Johnny West is one of the 131 officers City Council has authorized the police department to have on staff. Problem is, because of turnover, the department never actually has 131 officers. When the economy gets better, more jobs open up in other places, whether it be law enforcement or not, and they decide that they just want either a career change or work, work somewhere else. Nowadays, almost everyone has a cell phone with a camera, and that's something you have to be willing to accept if you want to be an officer. And you conduct yourself accordingly as if you're, you're on camera, and what you're doing is going to be on the 6 o'clock news. Danville's police chief asked the council two weeks ago to consider raising the number of allowable officers to 135 in order to get closer to always having 131 officers on staff. He made the proposal after two people were shot on February 1st. I spoke with Chief Broadfoot a few days after about his proposal to increase the number of officers. We will be able to uh, uh, fill the holes and fill the gaps and uh, maintain a, uh, a more level uh, type of service. I also spoke to Danville's mayor about council's reaction to the police chief's request. City council is committed to making sure that those needs are met. The money to hire the additional officers will come from the current roughly $300,000 that the police department has left over in its personnel budget at the end of every year as a result of not ever having a full 131 officers on staff. In Danville, Coulter and Stat, WSLS 10.